Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl India, the stripper goddess. Thank you for coming back. In today's video, we are going to touch on some touchy topics, okay? I was inspired to make this video because I said some things on my Instagram and I received a couple of DMs and a couple of girls aren't feeling too good about something that I said. And I like to live my life in love and light, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I am a real bitch and I'm just going to say what I say. And sometimes people are going to take offense to it. But I wanted to make some things clear here. For one, especially if you're going to bring the universe up to someone like me, I am the universe. You feel me? This is something that I practice every day. Universal energy is flowing through me. That's why I take the time to connect with you all and to let you know what I feel can make us all better as dancers, as entertainers, as women. Since the beginning of time, the beginning of civilization, we as women have put ourselves in positions to be bought by men. Oh, she got childbearing hips, she ready. Your father sells you to some grown, grown man for you to have his whole family and then to be a housewife and to be doing all these things that men feel women should do in some way, shape or form. I don't know if it was through the Western times, it turned into, you know, shoot, we want to pull up on our horse. We want to go in and have a drink and we want to be with a beautiful woman. We want to be able to pay for her time. If we want to take her upstairs and do whatever we do, we're going to do that. And then all of that turned into the strip club. And so when it comes to this channel, it's about empowering a community of women that should be getting what they deserve. If you walk into a strip club generally, you can have 50, 70, 80 to 100 girls. Look around the club. Are they all flourishing? Do they all look like they're making money? Do they all look happy? Do they all look bossed up? Of course not. But I feel like if we had more of an education about the business and about... <sighs> Basically, in today's video, I'm talking about how you represent yourself when you're in the club and every step, every moment, every move matters. And you have a lot of girls that will go into the club and they just sit around. They just sit there. And they sit there and they sit there and they look miserable. And I'm not going to sit here and say that every moment in the club is going to be the best moment of your life. That's not what I'm here to say. But what I am here to say is that it's up to you to create that magical energy. It's up to you to create that momentum to say, okay, it might not be popping for anybody else in here, but I'm gonna make it popping for me. If you feel like you need a breather and you need to sit and you need to take time, don't do that on the floor. You're always being watched, always. And so I popped in a couple of adult entertainment clubs last night and it was just sad. I saw all of these beautiful girls their outfits were popping, their hair, the makeup, they looked so beautiful and they were just sitting around looking bored, not getting no money, not creating their own magic, just waiting. And I don't know if I've made it clear enough, but we don't wait for these men to do what we know they should do. We create those opportunities for ourselves. So I said some things on my Instagram about it and a particular girl didn't really like it. And so I wanted to make this video because when it comes to law of attraction in the universe and the things that we experience on a personal level, everything is a mirror. If someone says something and it and it it, it touches you the wrong way, maybe that's an opportunity for you to look at yourself in the mirror and say, maybe she's right. Maybe it is whack that I'm just sitting around the club looking bored, looking crazy. This is such a divine opportunity for women all over the world, but everybody's not gonna make it. And that's why I wanted to create this channel because I wanna help women. I want you to see the beauty within yourself. I want you to see that you have the power to create these magical nights that you'd like to experience in the club. But I also want you to know that you look crazy when a group of men walk in the club and you're just sitting there like this. 
and then all of a sudden you want to create this energy and walk up and be like hi and then you wonder why they don't even want to talk to you when you do that it might not be the easiest thing but you have to create your own energy how many times do you go in and it's like everybody's in this great mood and you're like oh tonight gonna be a good night why are we allowing other people to create our own energy why don't we create it for ourselves why are you waiting on this magical customer to come up and say i'm gonna give you two thousand a night let's create that power within ourselves let's create that confidence with ourselves although i've met so many amazing women in the club sometimes it's really not like that you know a lot of the girls look at each other as competition. A lot of the girls look at each other like, you know, you could take what it is that I have going on. Like I had to say something to a girl that I thought was cool one time, but I had never worked with her. It was like in passing, you know, when you bad and she bad, it's like you have a respect for each other. You know what I mean? And I was with a customer and he's known to like spend a lot, a lot, a lot of money. And this was my first interaction with him or whatever. And she kept coming up, interrupting putting her arms around him and I and I was like I was like you know what I thought you were cool I thought you were nice I'm like but you're not oh my gosh babe what I'm like no I feel like you're trying to play me like there's a proper etiquette and I feel like we need to have more respect for the girls because I've had plenty of nights where I've made money because another girl helped me and I've had plenty of nights where I've made money for other girls because I helped them and you know what it's a great feeling it's a great feeling when you can go into the club and a girl will say, oh, can you come here with me? Um, can you come with this to this table with me? Why are we not helping each other out? Why are you getting so offended? Because I'm trying to give you pointers. Because you know that what you're doing is not working for you. But you don't have enough confidence to get up and say, you know what? You're right. I'm going to change this. I'm going to be popping. That's why you're upset when you see other females that have the confidence. When you see other females that are popping. When you see other females that are getting to the money. Because you're like, how do I create this energy within myself? Visualization. Set an intention. Okay, it's like just as simple as this. Like when I first started, I just went in. I didn't think of, oh, I want to make this much money. I didn't, I just went in. It was like, okay, this is my shift. I'm going to go in. Hopefully everything works out. But I have a girlfriend and she was so, so, so impressive. I've never seen a dancer be able to do what she's done. Like she's the kind of dancer that she had multiple customers come in at one night for her and be just in VIP all night. You feel me? That's impressive to me. That's very impressive. And she told me she was like set an intention like have a goal that you want to accomplish in that night and so i was like you know what that's what i'm gonna do so she said her goal was 500 and she was like even though most times she would surpass that it would it's nice to just have a set point so that next night i went in i was like my goal is going to be 500 and before you know that you just surpass it so fast because you kind of just you set that into like we're so powerful as humans we're so powerful as women. That's why I created this channel. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I don't feel like I'm just like, oh, y'all stupid hoes. Y'all strippers don't know what y'all doing. Come on. I'm human. I done been in a situation where I walked up to customers and they treat me like I just walked up there looking like Felicia. And I'm like, what? And all those circumstances and all those situations and all those times that I've been treated in a way that I didn't want to be treated put me in this position right here to say, you know what? No, I know who I am. I know what I deserve. And I know what a lot of us deserve. I know what a lot of these girls deserve. And it's not to go into the club and be in the corner scared, feeling like you don't have the power to have the night that you truly need to have. Or it look weak in here. So I'm going to wait until somebody look like they popping. No. That's not what the game is about, baby. The game is about giving them the experience. You see what I'm saying? We have this way of thinking about it. We have this way of coming into the club feeling like, okay, I'm going to be giving dances. I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be taking my clothes off for money. And then you get in there and that's what you wait on. Nobody really teaches you how to create that for yourself. 
nobody really teaches you how to set the tone and go up to these men and entertain them. I created this channel from like such a positive place, you know what I mean? And I feel like I want all the girls that may not feel confident, may not feel beautiful, may not feel like they're making the right decisions once they get in the club. I want them to be able to see these videos and put some pep in them in their step and say, you know what? I'm going to have fun with my night because I'm a boss. I'm beautiful. I get money. You know, the average person is not making $300 a night, a day, 500 a day, a thousand a day. This is very, very amazing. These are very, very great numbers. This is something that you should be proud of. This is something that you should be excited to work towards. So work on your energy, work on the way that you see yourself, work on the way that you see the club. If you don't feel good in the club that you're in, go to another one, audition somewhere else. Because you deserve to feel amazing. You deserve to be in there and be like, bruh, I came in and I came up. I don't wanna see no more sad strippers. I don't wanna see no more broke strippers. I wanna see everyone being prosperous. I wanna see everyone being happy, and being able to do what they need to do for themselves and for the ones that they love. You are super bold to choose this lifestyle because it's not the easiest by any means but don't let it break you down to where you feel like you can't move the way that you should be moving. The amount of money that dancers make, the amount of power that we have, you shouldn't be sitting in the corner looking miserable. Look at the things you do when you get on stage and you get on that pole. Look at how you make people feel. I've seen so many like amazing strippers just have the most craziest lights. And I'm just like, girl, you're so talented. You are so talented. You should be touring the world. You should be owning this shit. I'll never forget. It was um, the end of the night. We were waiting in the dressing room and one of the girls was like, do you ever just look at these girls sometimes? And it's like, they're so popping in the club, but in their real life, they have nothing going on. And I'm like, right, you know what I mean? And I feel like we've all fallen victim to that. We've all made a lot of money and then slept the whole day the next day or freaking killed it in the club. And then the next day you're questioning yourself. And it's like, bitch, I just made a thousand dollars. What? Why am I feeling this way? Be grateful for every amount that you make because this is someone else's hard earned money. You know what I mean? This is someone else coming into the club, not knowing you at all and giving you hundreds. That's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching this India, the stripper goddess. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share, comment. Welcome to the family if you subscribe. And I'll see you next time, baby. Oh!